team meet, you officially to present your request to the Permanent Secretary of Civic Engagement. And today, you are out here once again to meet the top echelon of this office, person of the Permanent Secretary of Civic Engagement, Mr. Ahmed Mustafa, to the gentleman who is out here. Let's put our hands together for him. Today, promise that we are going to meet you, and today you are here. Let's put another big round of applause for Sister. <laughs> we heard a bit of what you want from the state government, and a great issue of some of your schools. So, without wasting too much time, because today is very tight. And uh, we want your chairman get to please. I came here with my dear. I'm very much on the Mother Transport Senior Staff at IM Association. The person of Commander John. And the officers and water transport senior staff association. Thank you. Next. Yes. My name is uh, Mohammed Suleiman. I'm a uh, admin secretary in Nigeria Mansion Navy Officers. Next, please, next. Thank you, sir. I'm the Chief PR of Directorate of Nigerian Seafarers and GMCNI. Sir, I'll be talking about it. Louder, please. Louder. <laughs> Management. 
Because if we look at some, for those who use the, uh, the life jacket, what we discover is that a life jacket made for my big brother there cannot be the same as it's meant for me. I, a, a life jacket is always uh, uh, in line with somebody's weight. A life jacket that can take me where there's uh, a distance, which is I'm uh, running uh, about 70 kg, cannot be that of uh, 80 or 100 kg. But what we saw in most of uh, the activities is that they did not comply. That is where the ISPS uh, came in. Then again, we look at the, uh, the uh, certificate of uh, the common certificate of uh, uh, the four basic mandatories. The mandatory too is an NC, is a NCC convention. It's a maritime convention guiding the whole world in terms of water. And what does it tell us? That you must know how to uh, encounter danger. We call it a basic mandatory. So all of them here, if not uh, a very few one who have not got they have that basic knowledge of uh, a mandatory. They tell you of your personal protective device, how to help yourself before you help others. The type of uh, fighting you give to water, uh, then when there's fire. You know, from our own upbringing, fire differs. The one that has to do with oil, have a different equipment where you are fighting it than the one that's coming from a non-oil side. So we have various uh, type of uh, firefighting equipment. It does, it does, it's not just uh, water, not the foaming, not the water, the uh, water type. They have various degrees and they have various uh, instruments and facilities for fighting them. All these are what they taught us in uh, the basic uh, magistrates. Uh, some of their mates who are not here today, they were engaged, they were tested by the last administration and I think uh, we did well with uh, that services to Lagos State. The pictures are in our office. If uh, requested, we can forward them for cross-checking and uh, vetting. The boys are good. They are good to go. The summary of it is we want to partner with uh, the Lagos State to clean up the water system. Sometimes uh, people who are not trained, they may not know the need, the usefulness of uh, an environment to be clean. If you look at the water surrounding Lagos, it's a bit dirty. Uh, with all due respect, you know, people are not educated. Maybe they are educated, they decided to go the way of uh, Nigeria. So we want to partner with Lagos so that we can do one or two things to make uh, Lagos water and the territorial look better and more safety for life and uh, for the people of Lagos, just for, the, for us to key into the next level. That is the summary of why we are here. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, yeah. Sir, I really appreciate you for giving us this wonderful opportunity to come and you know see something about what has been happening to us in the maritime sector. I really appreciate you for this, sir. Sir, I would like to let you know about some places that are available, jetties that are abandoned, that are functioning. Like uh, we have one of them, um, Oro Jetty. It has us like um, Oro Jetty. Oro. The main Oro. We have like up to like um, 15, 15 vessels there that are abandoned for like um, eight years now. It's not functioning. So we would appreciate if. The new one is not. The, the, the new one is um, Bariga Jetty. That's Bariga. Opened by. Um, the, yeah, that, um, that Tomilan Bridge. Um, the, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we have, we have abandoned jetties that there's nothing there. So, so you have the names of the five, the 15 things. Yes, it's, 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 it's a... I want to talk on um, inexperience on board. I noticed that um, most of the water vessels, the boats, that have been handled by some people, it, 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 has, it has been handled by um, the unprofessional ones. That's why you see most of these are um, capsized boats. So I believe we come in as um, regimented cadets, seamen and officers. We'll be able to handle that so that we we'll make sure that we see to um, those things not happening. We we'll try our best. The other thing is that um, overloading. Overloading normally causes um, some of these boats to capsize due to improper regulations of the rules. So that's why I see some of, most of these um, boats capsize. I think if we come in as a, if you can make use of our skilled, regimented um, um, certificates into the state sea marine corps, you will see we, I listed um, 
1 to 11. Number one, we said Marines are known as naval infantry. We be assistance and support to police, the Navy, and Army operations on board boat, land, and sea. Incorporating the NSR Sea Marine Corps will help Lagos State generate revenue in terms of fishing activities on sea. I and some of um, cadets here finished from um, Federal College of Fish and Marine Technology. We have the ideas of fishing and we can put where that to use. Where is, the, where is the school? The schools are um, VI. Yeah. And, um, yes. So we able to. What number of years you spent? I spent. Um, I spent like um, eight, eight months, eight ten months, months yes, sir. And it was your first Where are the things that you were done? I did um, marine proportion. Okay. okay, just as a document. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Then um, at the same time, sir, I think we can be able to make peace and you know solve conflict resolutions according to our trainings. Then at the same time, sir, incorporating the NS to Lagos State as Marine Corps, we help the water jetties function effectively. Water transportation that will reduce every traffic on land, bringing more income and revenue for the state. As you can see, if you look at the main roads, you see there are so many heavy traffics. I think if we can incorporate um, the water transportation to it, it will reduce traffic and you know, it will make everything go on smoothly. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you so much, sir. I want to talk about a topic that's, that is based on the cadets finishing from Veterans Medical and then there's no job for them to do after acquiring the CCW, um, the English for the military, um, discharge groups, international passports, SID, and so on and so forth. And still yet, they have no job to work in the person. In conclusion, it has really drive so many cadets into illegal job on board, which is hijacking, piracy, and all other unlawful acts at large in society. So we are using this video to beg and plead to the Lagos State government to come to our aid. Thank you very much. Sir. Is it under the Ministry of Transportation? Is the school under the Ministry of Transportation? The school is uh, in dual, uh, it has a dual status. Okay. Uh, it belongs to the Ministry of Transportation as well as the Ministry of Aquatic. Well, they produce uh, marine uh, fishers. So no fish, anything that has to do with food, now I agree. So, so why, why I think I will, I will, I will suffice to say maybe because you guys were my trawlers, yeah. fishing trawlers. We, we, we did. Which one? Fishing trawler, coastal, offshore vessels. Even as I speak, Ila is part of us. Uh, National Ila Waterworks. Niwa, Niwa. By CMA, yeah. yeah. All the affiliates in the whole 36 state, Oindo, Lokoya, Benin. So, what was your relationship with Niwa? Niwa? Yeah. Uh, it's an affiliated body we talked. Okay. Well, like, like the name I told you, Nigeria Macha Navy Officers. That starts for the coastal and offshore. So, a typical marine merchantile officer, what is he or she trained to do? Come on, yes, sir. What is he or she trained to do? Okay. So, as a master, they take directive from the principal who holds the vessel, and the assignment will be given to each person, like the second uh, the chief mate. What is the relationship between the school and master college of education? Uh, like we said, this is a, a coming together of uh, interested group. If I will allow me to use that word, interested, we are coming here as a a group looking at the solution of unemployment. I know, I know. So the relationship we have to have a proper understanding so that we can know how to contextualize your demand. Okay. Yes, so if I'm asking the Labour State government to go into a partnership with you okay. so that you are embedded with Lasso. So okay before somebody so you are manning those jetties and at those jetties, you are ascertaining the genuineness and the appropriateness of the uh, 
life jackets. Yes. So periodically, when the boat operators come for certification, we will work with Lasso to ensure that the life jackets are fit for purpose. So if I'm asking that the Lagos State Government does that, what is the expertise that you have? The, uh, that jetting at uh, after CMS, Tazan. A Tazan, a knows me. I have a relationship. My office have a relationship with uh, Tazan. I then, don't want to, I don't want to be kind. This is a body. Exactly. You understand? And they are skilled to provide some certain yes, services. Yes, services. They've gone to school. Yes, sir. They will obtain some level of training. Yes. So that their training allows them to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Like that for the basic. So and I'm now asking what is the difference between you? I know if you go to Nautical College of Navigation or yes. when you finish you go to Egypt, Alexandria. Okay, and when you finish, you can work on the ships, whether with NNSL when you are alive, or you work with the uh, Nigerian uh, gas company. NNPC. Okay, so that relationship exists for the graduates of the Nautical College of Navigation. So, what is the path for these guys? Yes, like I told you, some of them currently they have what I would say ISS. PS code. Okay. And that ISPS code will tell you is purely security alert. Okay. Like if you want, for instance, if you go to so many companies, they will tell you seat belt before you drive in. That is the compliance. The cautiousness of avoiding accident. On waterways. On waterways. That is what the ISPS went for, which certificate we've acquired. Okay. Then the basic mandatory we acquire, you acquire is to one your personal safety first before you go out to save another person. Now, in case of an accident, how do you help yourself before you help somebody? In case of firefighting, because the basic, we see how firefighting as a cause in the basic. Now, there's this fire outbreak. You look at this fire, is it oil? Is it coming from gas? Then you know the type of instrument you will use in handling it. Is it coming from just a main fire, like house burning? You know the type of fire extinguisher you used to have. Don't you? Within us, among my cadets, they have that because that is the essence of the and business. They have a certification. Of course, very, very correct. correct. They yes. say they can provide yes. the, 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 it's, it's, the basic is a certified course. The ISPS as well. So like can, we get, can we get something from the school outlining the courses? The courses what they are proficient to do. For sure, we'll do that. Okay. So once we get that, what we will recommend, you said you've had a previous relationship. Yes. Uh, with last one. Last, 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 okay. So, we, last 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 so we just met with Lasema a couple of weeks ago and indicated that one of the things that they are looking at is to set up a water rescue. Okay, so if they are doing that, so that is why I'm asking that question on your own level of proficiency. Yes. Have Do you have diverse certification so that you get into the water and rescue people? So you, you can swim. They can. They have done it before. I said we would make a. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> can you do it without GS? Can you do it with GS? In case of emergency. Okay. okay. So when Lasema is setting up this water rescue unit. So we can say, okay, these are guys that have been trained. Okay, can we have a relationship between the school, Asema, and Lasso? Okay, so aside from providing the first level of response to Lasema, we can also use them, right? If we have a relationship with Lasso, for instance, so that you guys are certifying the boat operators by ensuring that they have the right firefighting equipment, by ensuring that you're looking around the boat, like jackets, life jackets properly sized, and sometimes you can make unscheduled 
visits to Jetis. You understand? So those are the areas. But before we recommend you to the Lagos State Government, so that previous agreement that you said you had and that relationship, you can bring that forth so that we can see okay what was done. So we can now say, okay, if Sean Itolu is coming back, maybe he's aware of that. He's aware of that when that agreement is entered into fine. If he says he's not aware, okay, can we do another agreement? agreement? So let's test it. Okay, give us out of your box the ones that you know are very good. Okay, but mind you here, you are giving an undertaking to the government. Of course, sir. Right? That you have this level of proficiency. So if the government now serving you with that task, if they find you wanted, yeah. you will have destroyed and discredit the institution that you represent. So before we go into this, we need to be very, very clear. Okay? Just like you have rightly suggested, Mexico State is more than almost. 3,700 square kilometers of water. So whether we like it or not, water transportation has to form a pump in terms of our trans transportation needs. As crappy as it is, about 3 million people are using water every day. So that is something that any responsible government will want to make sure that one, safe, both on the part of the operators and the part of the people who are on the, on the part of the passengers. Okay. So to ensure that, so if you are coming to provide this service, I say again, sir, you must absolutely. And if there is a need for the Labour State Government, it's okay. Let us come and ascertain the genuineness. The of the office, not the office, of the school group itself. To ascertain the, 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 the veracity. Because you are, we are going to be trusting the lives of people. Yes. To your hands. Okay? So, there is no second chance if anything happens on water and the efficiency level is not there. And right now, we depend on local guidance. Okay? And one of the things that we were suggesting before was all the boat operators to have transponders with beacons, which will allow us to monitor on the dashboard where all the boats are. So at any given point in time, if anything happens, once the radios will can be there within so five, ten minutes. Okay, so if you have that proficiency, so if we are now including that in our emergency response, so that was why I'm asking you, it's not that I'm just troubling you, I'm deliberately asking you those questions. Right? What have you been taught? So over the next one year, the Lagos State now said, as part of going into this relationship with you, I'm now going to be mandating both operators to have solution that allows me to know precisely to a block size length, where is the, what is the location? Okay, so and maybe over time we will set up watchtowers, strategically in Lagos State, so that we can be able to monitor our water bed. Okay, so these are what we will need from you. So if you are making that claim, that you can provide this, you yeah, better be right. Okay. Thank you, I appreciate it. Sir. You want to say something? Yeah, I want to say something. Sir, I'm going to tell you something. Yes, this is what we have. We have many people here, and we should have to show you. We 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 have to show you.
So to which one that you guys are? Yeah, the So if you give me a certificate, if I go to uh, School of Oceanography, they will confirm. Okay, if I go to Oran, you have your own in Oran. Okay. We will go into the report. So, I went into that explanation so that part of your own task of the government is that you have this person and you want to be able to provide the services to Lagos State Government in partnership with ASWA. Partnership with Sarah. Just sign an MOU with NIWA as well. So, NIWA registered boats also will be able to provide these kind of services on there as well. So, and I'm sure you won't have any problem if Lagos State decides that we bring in our own special consultants to ascertain. Genuineness and the veracity of whatever uh, 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 claims you are making with regards to your expertise. So, once all these documents are written, to so we will now write to the deputy government to say, okay, these are what you are in, these are what you are in, these are the areas. Send a copy of the letter to be sent to the government services. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. We have now get our papers together for presentation to the permanent secretary, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You have to pass it all. No, that's not. That's not. You will do that. 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 You will do that.